to know about OCT, which is optical coherence tomography, both for measuring retinal nerve fiber layer in the optic nerve, which is a mem mem uh, measure of the axon uh, going into the optic nerve, and the macular ganglion cell layer, which is the cell body. So RNFL is axon and macular ganglion cell is the cell body. And the, the question was, retrograde axonal degeneration, what would that look like on the OCT and the visual field? So if you have a visual field, for example, with a left homonymous hemianopsia from a right occipital lobe lesion, so your, your, your lesion is in your brain and it's in the right occipital lobe, this will cause a left homonymous hemianopsia from the right occipital lobe lesion. And normally because the cell body of that axon is in the geniculate body, a occipital lesion would not normally produce any visible finding in the nerve fiber layer or in the macular ganglion cell layer because it can't jump this synapse. However, some cases are retrograde, they're going the wrong direction, and are transsynaptic, which means it jumps that cell body synapse in the geniculate body, and that means we can see it in the OCT and in the macular ganglion cell layer. So in the macular ganglion cell layer, we'll have loss of the ganglion cell layer corresponding with the hemianopic field defect. And because most things that happen in your eye cannot respect the vertical meridian, that is actually a very helpful finding when we see this vertical step and loss of the ganglion cell only in half of the fovea and half of the vacuum. And so this hemianopic pattern can be seen in the macular ganglion cell layer. Now in the optic nerve, of course, it's slightly different. So let's say this is the right and optic nerve on the left. Normally the nerve fiber layer from the temporal fiber has to go all the way around and insert into the top of the disc because this is trying to bypass this fovea and the inferior temporal fiber has to go all the way around like this. And because the center of the eye is the fovea, all of this is nasal and all of this is temporal. And that means these fibers here are actually nasal. So temporal fiber, temporal fiber, nasal fiber, nasal fiber, temporal fiber, temporal fiber, nasal fiber, nasal fiber. And so when we have a left homonymous hemianopsia, a left homonymous hemianopsia, this is the right eye, this is the left eye, the right eye has nasal field defect and the left eye has temporal field defect. The left eye on the OCT corresponding to the temporal field defect will have nasal atrophy. And that atrophy is called band atrophy. And the eye with the nasal field defect will have temporal fiber loss, in this case, the right eye. So we can see on the RNFL and in the macular ganglion cell, a marker of occipital lobe lesions, especially if they happen in utero as baby. Congenital lesions can cause transsynaptic retrograde degeneration they have a homonymous hemianopsia and it jumps the synapse and shows up as a hemianopic pattern in the ganglion cell layer and band type atrophy in the eye with the temporal field loss representing nasal fiber loss and in this case, the left eye.